What if type 2 diabetes is draining your heart's energy and coordination even when your arteries are clear, setting you up for fatigue, swelling, and heart failure? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're examining how type 2 diabetes directly rewires your heart's energy and structure, and the precise actions you can take to defend your cardiac power supply. I'm Alara Skye. Type 2 diabetes is usually framed as high glucose and insulin resistance, but what you feel day to day is exhaustion, shortness of breath, ankle swelling, and weakness that lingers. Those symptoms reflect deeper cellular changes that gradually undermine how each heartbeat is fueled and coordinated, raising your risk of heart failure even without obstructed coronary arteries. Researchers analyzed actual human left ventricle tissue, comparing people with and without diabetes in the setting of heart failure. That approach revealed changes uniquely tied to diabetes, not just generic heart disease. The clearest signal was energy collapse. Key mitochondrial proteins were sharply reduced, limiting your ability to make ATP, the fuel every contraction demands. Less ATP means harder effort for everyday tasks and faster fatigue. They also documented an impaired ability to burn fat. Your heart typically leans on fat oxidation for steady energy, yet enzymes and transporters for fat use were depressed in diabetic hearts. Molecules that shuttle fats into mitochondria were lower, so fuel was present but underused. When demand rises, climbing stairs, carrying groceries, your heart runs short on usable energy. Glucose handling shifted as well. The main insulin-dependent door for sugar entry was reduced, while an insulin-independent route opened wider to compensate. That shift keeps some glucose flowing but produces weaker energy output. You work harder for less payoff, and your heart loses the flexible fuel switching that supports stable performance under stress. Backup fuels were no safety net. Proteins needed to metabolize ketones, and branched chain amino acids were reduced, so alternate fuel pathways could not rescue the system when fat and glucose fell short. The result is a stranded engine, multiple inputs available, none processed efficiently enough to sustain strong contractions when you need them. Structural remodeling compounded the energy problem. Collagen and extracellular matrix proteins increased, stiffening the walls. Cytoskeletal alignment weakened, and calcium handling proteins declined. Calcium flow is essential for precise contraction and relaxation. When it falters, beats are less coordinated and less powerful. That's why edema, irregular rhythms, and effort intolerance become more common as diabetes advances. All of this points to a mitochondrial bottleneck. With fewer mitochondrial components, electron flow slows and ATP production drops. Oxidative stress rises and damages cell structures further. You experience lower energy output and reduced resilience after strain. The traffic jam extends to fat transport. Lowered acyl carnitines mean fats line up at the gate, but fail to enter the power plant, leaving you vulnerable even without severe artery disease. You can intervene by targeting the specific breakdowns identified in these human tissue findings. First, cut dietary linoleic acid, LA, to under 5 grams per day. Pushing closer to 2 grams yields greater impact. LA from vegetable oils embeds in tissues for years and drives insulin resistance, inflammation, and mitochondrial stress. Replace soybean, canola, sunflower, safflower, grapeseed, corn, and similar oils with stable fats such as grass-fed butter, ghee, or tallow, and track intake with an app like Food Buddy and My Health Coach. Aim for that 5-gram target daily. Next, choose carbohydrates strategically to fuel cells without overloading a compromised system. Start with easily digested options fruit and white rice, to provide steady glucose. As tolerance improves, proceed stepwise to root vegetables, then non-starchy vegetables, then starchy vegetables like squash and sweet potatoes, then beans and legumes, and finally, minimally processed grains. 
most adults require about 250 grams of carbohydrates per day to keep muscles and heart cells powered. Lower your exposure to hidden metabolic stressors, endocrine disrupting chemicals from plastics, cleaning products, and personal care items interfere with insulin signaling and energy production. Electromagnetic fields from Wi-Fi, cell phones, and smart devices add to the burden. Store food in glass or stainless steel, choose toxin-reduced household products, and shut off Wi-Fi at night to reduce cumulative strain on mitochondrial function. Use sunlight wisely to rebuild resilience. Sunlight does more than make vitamin D. It drives melatonin production inside mitochondria, where it shields against oxidative damage and supports energy output. If your tissues are LA loaded, increase exposure gradually. Favor early morning and late afternoon light until you've lowered LA for at least six months, then expand cautiously as your tolerance improves. Support NAD+, a key cofactor for energy, by using niacinamide at 50 milligrams three times per day. This measured dose helps restore mitochondrial throughput. Combined with LA reduction, careful carbohydrate selection, and toxin light routines, you create conditions where your heart can regain the flexibility to use fuels efficiently and contract with greater precision. Track your progress with the HOMAIR. This single fasting blood draw relates glucose and insulin to estimate insulin resistance. If you measure glucose in milligrams per deciliter, use HOMAIR equals open parenthesis. Fasting glucose times, fasting insulin, close parenthesis divided by 405. If you measure glucose in millimoles per liter, use HOMA IR equals open parenthesis, fasting glucose times, fasting insulin, close parenthesis divided by 405 glucose times, fasting insulin divided by 22.5. Scores below 1.0 indicate healthy sensitivity. Above 1.0 indicates resistance that deserves focused attention. Understanding your numbers helps you see whether these steps are restoring metabolic efficiency. A lower HOMAIR reflects better insulin signaling and improved fuel handling, aligning with the cellular targets identified in diabetic heart tissue. Managing glucose alone is not enough. You are rebuilding the machinery that turns fuel into force for every beat. If you live with fatigue, swelling, or shortness of breath, connect the dots to energy collapse and calcium coordination, both documented in human diabetic hearts. By cutting LA, choosing carbohydrates methodically, reducing environmental stressors, using sunlight intelligently, supporting NAD+, and verifying change through HOMAIR, you focus on the drivers that matter for your heart's output. Here's your challenge. For the next four weeks, reduce linoleic acid to under 5 grams per day. Select carbohydrates from fruit and white rice while you rebuild tolerance. Shut off Wi-Fi nightly. Take niacinamide 50 milligrams three times daily and get morning light most days. At the end, run a fasting glucose and insulin test. Calculate your HOMAIR and compare to your baseline. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.